In this video, we're going to look at solving logarithmic inequalities. In symbols, what we're going to look at is the conversion process. This if b is greater than 1, x is greater than 1. That's just defining the restrictions that we're going to have on our variables. And we say log base b of x is greater than y. Then to do the conversion, we say x is greater than b to the y. And so this is for our greater than examples. The second one we have, if b is greater than 1 and x is greater than 0 and log base b of x is less than y, then 0 is less than x, which is less than b to the y. So this is our less than logarithms. What we need to keep in mind is the idea of our definition of logarithms. If I were to write down what we use to convert logarithm to exponent form, we have log base b of n equals p. We learn that our b has to be greater than 0 and b cannot be equal to 1. We also learned and applied when we were solving logarithmic equations that what we're taking the logarithm of has to be greater than 0. It cannot be 0 or negative. And that is the key. That is going to create our boundaries in our domain that we're going to be looking at. And in this video, what we're going to do is apply an inequality approach. I find this to be the easiest approach to use when it comes to solving logarithmic inequalities. If I have log base 2 of the quantity x minus 4 is less than or equal to 5, what you're going to do is just solve an inequality as normal by converting to our exponent form. And the converting to exponent form is represented here for our greater than and here for our less thans. I'm going to take what I have the logarithm of, that expression x minus 4, set it to be less than or equal to our base 2 to the fifth power. So x minus 4 is less than or equal to 32. To solve, I would add 4 to both sides and get x is less than or equal to 36. Now I'm going to focus on the boundary. The boundary is based off of this definition of logarithms. What you're taking the log of has to be greater than 0. So I take x minus 4, set it greater than 0, and solve and get x is greater than 4. What I'm going to do from here is compare the two inequalities together and determine if the boundary is needed for the solution. So I have what the answer is here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on applying it to a inequality graph on a number line. The first solution that we said is that x has to be less than or equal to 36. And so if I were to plot that, here's 36. Less than or equal to is going to be a solid circle on 36 with an arrow going to the left forever. However, my boundary tells me, wait a minute, x can only exist when it's greater than 4. And so if I were to plot that statement, x is greater than 4. Here's 4 on the number line. Greater than would be an open circle going to the right. And so what happens is, as our x is less than or equal to 36 is graphed, this boundary stops it from going any further. So our solution exists from 4, which is not included, 4 is less than x, up to 36 for my max, less than or equal to 36. And so that is the solution space when it comes to our inequality approach. Again, I find this to be the easiest of the two approaches we'll be examining in this lesson. If we were to look at a greater than example, log base 3 of x plus 5 is greater than 3. Same idea, first convert it to exponential form. What you're taking the log of x plus 5 is greater than your base 3 to your power, which is 3. So x plus 5 is greater than 27. x is greater than 22. This is our solution space. However, we have to make sure that solution space exists with the boundary. And the boundary is when you take the expression inside 
here the parentheses, what you're taking the logarithm of, x plus 5, set it to be greater than 0, you get x is greater than negative 5. Now compare these two inequalities and determine if the boundary is needed for the solution. Again, if I were to think of it like graphing inequalities on a number line, what I have first is my solution space says x is greater than 22. That would be an open circle on 22 with an arrow going to the right. The boundary says those values can only exist when x is greater than negative 5. And if I were to take a look, here's where x is greater than negative 5 from here and to the right forever. So does my solution space work with this boundary? x can only exist when x is greater than negative 5. My solution space says x is greater than 22, and so I don't need my boundary. The solution space is included in the boundary 100%, and so all I need is that answer for my greater than. And so I find this approach to be the easiest. Convert the inequality to exponential form. Take the expression you're taking the logarithm of, said to be greater than for this one your base to the power get that answer it's very simple be sure to find your boundary and then just sketch the inequality graphs and see if the boundary is needed for the solution space